So hi, here's Intergeo TV from Stuttgart and welcome to Intergeo TV right now, Boris Kopjak, Vice President of the Geospatial Sector at Trimble with over two decades of experience in geospatial technologies and Boris is at the forefront of innovations that are transforming industries like construction, infrastructure and energy. He is here to talk about Trimble's latest breakthroughs in their latest innovations in kind of GNS, reality, reality capture, and how cloud technologies are driving uh, connectivity between field and office. Very interesting. So let's say welcome. Hi, Boris. Hi, Anis. Nice <laughs> to be here. Yeah, it's great that you are here. Yeah, I just mentioned a lot of things um, within my introduction. Let's dive in. Um, um, have a look uh, behind the technical aspects. Um, how do these technologies contribute to solving global challenges and such as the climate change and the urbanization? Yeah, can you share specific examples? Yeah, ab absolutely. Uh, but what we notice in the, in the industry, there, there's a, a lot of desire to do good. There's a lot of people with a passion to help improve the environment, uh, sustainability, reduce energy waste, uh, reduce uh, emissions. And very often we find a challenge in, in connecting people from multiple industries that often need to work together. So we are very pl uh, proud of our uh, Trimble Connect platform that allows people to get together, collaborate in a single environment with the same understanding or perspective at the world and the real life mm -hmm. world conditions so it's uh, at this point we are at uh, over 37 million customers in Trimble Connect environment managing over 22 million different projects and just uh, this week uh, we are introducing Trimble Reality Capture platform uh, which is an extension to Trimble Connect that uh, adds support for the reality capture data, including the information coming from the LiDAR sensors, from the mobile mapping sensors, from the terrestrial laser scanners, that just provides that additional dimension of understanding the, the, the world around us that helps, make, uh, helps uh, customer, customers make educated decisions. A specific, a specific examples, uh, uh, one of my favorite ones, uh, I, I you uh, generally think about some of our advanced uh, customers that are advancing the, this technology, uh, like Singapore. So Singapore Land Authority is is a, a really a shining star when it comes to using geospatial data and geospatial technologies to to derive more intelligent decisions that uh, lead to better urban planning, to better resource management, to more sustainable cities. So it's mm -hmm. it's just fantastic. You 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 can see that the, there's a plan and a concept in a city doesn't come as an accident, right? This is where the, the geospatial technology plays a fantastic role, right? We see our mobile mapping even here in Germany, like city of Essen is successfully deploying mobile mapping systems to better map and track assets, to deploy the resources, to plan their park parks, the urbanizations, the, the, the benches and the bus stops and things like that, that, that you, we just take for granted as, as, as citizens, right? All of that is, is really contributing to the, the, the world around us. Wow, that's immense. And you already mentioned some innovations you brought yeah. to yeah. Intergeo. Yeah. Uh, there's also um, a new Genus S system. Yeah. you brought with you and you will explain it to us right now. Um, it's a step forward in terms of accuracy and field performance and yeah, uh, yeah but its impact is of course much broader. Um, how do you see advancement like this enabling smarter infrastructure planning and real-time decision-making in cities, special, yeah. particularly for building uh, climate resilient yeah, and urban uh, environments. Yeah, so the, the the product we are introducing is the Trimble R980. It's our latest uh, uh, GNSS uh, flagship product. And uh, Trimble, as, as the leader in the GNSS technology, we are, we are very proud of the history, you know, innovation we bring into that, uh, in, into the industry, right? There's a lot of concern these days about the, 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 the signal stability, the jamming and the spoofing, right? So we are introducing some uh, really interesting ways to how, how to make the, the information uh, more uh, uh, re uh, reliable and more consistent uh, across all of the products. So the Trimble IonoGuard is a great example on, on how to continue to improve to make our our, our customers safer, uh, so so they can they can better protect their data. 
Uh, in addition, that what is really exciting about the, the R980 is we have uh, really enhanced the com communication platform on it. So, uh, in addition to the LTE, we also have the dual dual band uh, radios, uh, which all uh, drives towards more of a connected environment. You mentioned in your introduction, right? The how do we connect field to the office, office to the field more regularly? So all of our devices now are becoming an IoT devices in its true sense, where you can actually seamlessly communicate with field and the office back and forth. Because at the end, it's all about providing that data that is going to drive more informed decisions about the, the infrastructure, the environment around us, right? So by making the R980 a truly connected device, it allows us to, in real time, sync that information with the back office, people who are going to take that geospatial data uh, from the most accurate sensor in, in, the, in the industry and, and be able to deploy uh, their resources do their analysis, do, do the, their maintenance plans and schedules, which all leads to better productivity. The productivity leads to less waste, more smarter energy utilization, and, and so on and so on. So very proud to, to bring or continue to challenge uh, the, 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 the industry and continue to innovate, uh, especially in GNSS, given that that's our roots as Trimble. So, so we, we feel like we, we owe it to our customers and, and to the industry. Mm -hmm. so. so Boris, um, there's one topic, it's integrating AI in yeah. any kind of processes, techniques, uh, technologies, software. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so um, how is it integrated in Trimble solutions and how does it help work Quicker, faster, better, smarter. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 exciting. We were just in the it's intro. We, we, yeah. we were talking about AI and all, all sorts yeah, of information you is. can feed to the AI and, and and get valuable insights. So so we really see it as a phenomenal tool to to, to do exactly better, faster, cheaper, greener. Mm -hmm. And and the, some some examples in in uh, in our industry. We had a uh, recently we had a, a study uh, with the city of Rome, uh, Roma, Italy, uh, where we were analyzing the traffic patterns in, in some of their most congested touristic squares uh, that are generally hard to access and and you have the, the areas of the week right in the, in the midweek uh, in the mid mornings you have the least traffic but then at the early mornings or the later you have more so how do you how do you make traffic flows and patterns that actually optimize the the, the, the capacity you have on your infrastructure and make informed decision on whether you need to expand or add to that infrastructure. So using AI on such, such big data sets right, that we collect uh, that will help us actually make, make those connections and, and information uh, come together. Another example is, is uh, pavement condition inspection reports from our mobile mapping data. We can now much better take the combination of point clouds and images and, and find different types of cracks of this shape different potholes, different analysis. With AI, we can classify at what segments of the road you need to go and inspect versus, so moving moving away from doing predictive maintenance where you're just going every month to check just because it says on the calendar you need to go out versus going, oh, there might be a problem, more area of the, or of, of, or more problematic areas accumulating here versus there. So we are moving to more of, of a predictive maintenance versus a scheduled maintenance, which of course, again, leads to less emissions, le less moving between field and the office, and, and, and uh, ultimately, yeah, uh, a, a more sustainable environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe just one last question. Um, so, um, yeah, how, how do you think, um, when you look at Intergeo or also the geospatial, the whole geospatial sector, what do you think are the most impressive or interesting trends we had over the past five or ten years? We've already mentioned AI and the, yeah, yeah. The, the faster workflows and so on. Is it is it the trend or is it the more interesting in, 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 in sensors or, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's there's so many things. I mean, we, we always uh, talk about the only constant is change and how rapidly things are evolving. I remember from my student days in back in the 90s, that was the, oh, how fast it is. I, I feel like last five years have been exceptional. Uh, if, you, if you look at from the sensor side of things, we are 
having sensors that are smaller, cheaper, more compact, which mm -hmm. allows us to pack more of the sensors together in a form factor that okay. is optimized for power, size, weight ratios, allow us, cust uh, allow us to produce more hybrid type of solutions that are maybe not conven conventional in the, in the survey context, but actually un unleash additional levels of productivity. Uh, I think uh, we, we touched on the cloud and, and the AI. Yeah, the cloud uh, solutions are getting uh, better and it's, better. It's, it's just fantastic. Uh, and the beauty of, of the cloud is not just we want to move from the desktop to the cloud for the sake of it. It's all about having that data in, in, a, in a place where more, more and more people can access. So the, the trend that I'm most excited that, that really uh, gets, me, gets me going is, is all of the new, new entrants to the geospatial mm -hmm. industry, right? I mean, the, the survey community is, is, is strong and powerful, but there's only so many surveyors. Yeah. Uh, but we are having all these other people that are now finding the, or un, sorry, fi finally understanding the value of the geospatial information yeah. that surveyors can provide them, right? But we needed to provide the tools and the power to the server mm -hmm. so they can actually be a better salespeople, they can show to their clients, look what we can do, right? So look look at type of the environment and type of visibility you can have to your projects, to your costs, to your scheduling, uh, to your maintenance, to, to uh, the quality of the, of the products you're providing to your clients ca can be at a different levels. So, so that's the part that I'm super excited, right? I'm, I'm, continuously meeting people who are not traditionally from the industry and are really appreciating what geospatial can provide to them. I, I think that's that's a combina winning combination of how we grow the industry and mm. how we grow the importance of surveyors, but also attract more people to the industry. Perfect words. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Cheers to the geospatial yeah. sector. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you very much, yeah. Boris, here Thank for giving us these insights here from Trimble yeah. at this year's interviews. Very interesting. Could talk yeah. hours about that, yeah. but our time is over now. Thank, <laughs> Thank you very much, Anise. Thank, Thank you. you.